my name is Marilyn Howard and this is my music appreciation speech. You know that feeling when you hear a good song and you can't stop playing it over and over? That's what happened to me when I heard this song for the first time. For my speech, I decided to talk about the song Sarah by Fleetwood Mac, which is one of my favorite songs ever. Today, I will inform my COM 110 class on why I love it so much the song's personal meaning to me, and also the song's actual meaning and some history. The first main topic will be why I love the song so much. This song holds a lot of meaning, and every time I hear it, it makes me happy. The song is sung by Stevie Nicks, and like most of her songs, this song is very poetic. The verses in this song are written in a very graceful way, and the lyrics in this song all come together to make it seem like a stream of thought. And everything is written very imaginatively and it's very harmonic. Another reason I love this song so much is because the song is very tuneful and melodic. The mix of piano and guitar in this song come together to make a very balanced and peaceful sound. The song starts off slow and lethargic, and it gradually becomes more upbeat, which gives it a very hopeful sound. Also, the backing vocals in this song in the third verse, I think, are super angelic, and they add a lot to the song. For those reasons, that is why I love the song so much. Now I will talk about the song's personal meaning to me. While I am emotionally attached, emotionally attached, to more songs than I would like to confess. This song means a lot to me for many reasons, one of them being the song's meaning. While this song does have a couple different meanings, this song means so much to me because when I first heard it, I was kind of going through a weird time in my life and I would always listen to it on repeat and it would always make me feel better. Another reason this song has personal meaning to me is because it is sung by Stevie Nicks, and she is one of my favorite artists ever, and I just always feel a sentimental connection to this song, and the song also makes me feel pretty nostalgic. For those reasons and many more, that is why the song has such personal meaning to me. My last topic will be some of the song's actual meaning and history. This song is on Fleetwood Mac's album Tusk, which came out in 1979, Stevie has never actually said the meaning of the song, but there are a couple suggestions as to what it could be about. Firstly, a lot of people think the song is about one of Stevie's old friends who was named Sarah. Um, when Stevie was in a relationship with the band's drumist, Mick Fleetwood, he cheated on Stevie, Stevie with Sarah, and Mick and Sarah later went on to get married. So, a lot of people think it's about her friend, Sarah. Another theory is some people think Stevie is talking about herself, and Sarah is Stevie's alter ego, because when Stevie checked into rehab, she used the name Sarah, and she told everyone her name was Sarah. So, a lot of people think that that song is about herself. Um... And lastly, this is what a lot of people think it could be about, um, and this is a pretty popular theory, but some people think it could be about her unborn child, who she later terminated, but she was gonna name the baby Sarah, so a lot of people think it's about that. So those are just some of the ideas people have about the meaning of the song, but I personally think the song could be about all three of those things, but different parts of the song are just talking about different things, and the song isn't all just about one thing. I've just discussed my three main points about the song Sarah by Fleetwood Mac. I talked about why I love it so much, the song's meaning to me, and what the song could be about and some of its history. I totally think you should listen to this song if you haven't before or if you haven't heard it in a while. I definitely think you should listen to it. It's a very beautiful song and also if you want to listen to the extended version of this song, you definitely should. It is on the deluxe version of the album Tusk 
and it's about nine minutes long, and it's basically just an extended version of the original song, but I think it is amazingly done. So yeah, that is my music appreciation speech.